up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and I have an unboxing video for you that I'm quite excited about. Before I start, I just want to say yes. This is a different night than when I filmed my couple previous videos that I've posted, hopefully, and uh, I'm wearing the same shirt because I decided that I like it a lot and I'm going to wear it again because I want to. So, there. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the 2016 May? I think it's May. Smuggler's Bounty Box. This is the Star Wars Funko collab box. And the theme to this month, I believe, is Bounty Hunter. I think. You would think I could keep up with that kind of stuff a little bit better than I do. Anyways, if you're interested in getting this box, I'm going to put the pricing details in the description below. How many of you guys want to bet that the pin has fallen out of its package? Alright guys, once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're going to see. Alright, obviously you see the patch and the pin, so this pin was out of the package. Uh, this is the first pin, I don't know who this is. Probably somebody who's somebody. And then there's a patch and it has Boba Fett on it. I actually really like this patch a lot. Alright, here we go. Do the shirt for last, okay. Oh, just jump straight into it, oh, okay. I love the Smuggler's Bounty Box and I love the Funko Collab Boxes. They're usually really, really great. This one seems a little bit low on the items. And I will say, I mean, there's two Funko Pops in here, so that's great. But in the past, we've gotten two Funko Pops and the shirt and the patch and the pin and then like a comic book or a lanyard or something. But it looks like there's nothing of that sort. So let's go ahead and show you what we got first. Um, first item that we got is a Funko Pop of Boba Fett. This is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. And let's see, what is exclusive about this? So I don't know if everyone got different ones because there's a lot in this series and this series looks unfamiliar. This is from The Force Awakens. Actually, usually The Force Awakens. Well, I guess that wouldn't make sense because Boba Fett. So I guess it's just, I don't know. They went with the white writing with the black background, which has recently signified The Force Awakens, but this is definitely not from The Force Awakens. So these are ones that are in this collection. I'm not a hundred I'm not super familiar with the Star Wars collection other than The Force Awakens. The Force Awakens is the only one that I've really kept up with. But this is Boba Fett and he is pretty cool. He's kind of like blasting off. Kind of like blast off Iron Man, sort of. Okay, so there's that first one. And then the second one is the IG-88. So he is, and honestly, I have no idea who this is, but he looks like a robot guy with a gun. There he is. This is another Smuggler's Bounty uh, exclusive. Again, I don't know if maybe all of these are Smuggler Bounty exclusive and everyone got different ones. That would be pretty cool, but I'm not 100% sure. And then the last item is the shirt. Uh, this is a navy blue shirt and I got the small still because the mediums are just quite big still. All right. Hopefully this fits me. Here we go. This is the design. Oh, I like it. So it's basically like, it's not, it's kind of like a blueprint sort of of different bounty hunters. So you have like Boba Fett, you have, I guess these are all bounty hunters. I don't, I mean, that's what it says, obviously. Oh, these are partners. So we have um, Zuckus and Forlom and I-688, and then we have Bosk. So I actually like this. Uh, what I like about it is just how it's yellow on blue, and then, I mean, unless you stared, if you were staring at the shirt really well, you would be able to see all the stuff. But just at quick glance, I love how it just says Star Wars on it, Bounty Hunters, you kind of get the gist of it, and then if you look closer, it has like the blueprints of the different Bounty Hunters. So I do like this, and this shirt is very soft. I enjoy the feel of this shirt. This is, of course, just a Funko shirt. All right, guys, so that's all the items that were in this box. Like I said, usually these boxes come with at least one more item, and that's even when we get two Funko Pops. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but I do like the Pops that we got. So I'm, I am happy about that, and I like the shirt. So I can't complain too much, but let's go ahead and do some pricing and recap. Oh, I've lost my calculator. Here it is. Okay, 
So let's see. The pin, we are going to do $3. The patch, we're going to do $2. The shirt, we're going to do $10. Now, I'm having a hard time because I know you guys get mad at me when I just give these $10. And then I said I was going to give them $12. But because these are Smuggler's Bounty exclusives, I'll be a little bit nicer and give these each $15. I think that's definitely high because once everyone gets their box and they start selling these on eBay, I feel like they're going to be fairly low, but they're probably going to be around $20. So I'm just going to give each of them $15, and that's extremely high. I don't know if I'm going to start giving exclusive Funko Pops $15 because, again, I usually give them $12. So we'll just go with it. Anyways, this box costs $45. Uh, According to my standards, I'm being nice apparently, I paid about $32 for this box, so it has really great value. It's uh, $13 extra on top of what I paid for, so that's really great. Can't complain about that. The one thing I can complain about is, even though it has its value, I, I've just gotten so used to Funko sending me at least one more item in these collab boxes. So I was a little bit disappointed about that. But I do like the Funko Pops, I do like the shirt, and I like the... The patch. I'm not a huge fan of the pin, but I like the patch. So, all in all, it's a decent box. If I had to rate this box, I mean, value-wise, it's great. It really is very good for a $30 box. I got more than $10 of my value. Um, but, like, stuff-wise, man, nothing can beat that very first Smuggler's Bounty box that we got with the TIE Fighter Pilot and the Captain Phasma. Like, I love that box. And all the other boxes have been good, but... That one's my favorite because I really liked Force Awakens, so obviously like anything that they did that was more geared towards Force Awakens, I tend to enjoy a little bit more. But I do like this box. If I had to rate this box, I'd probably give this box a 4 point... I'm going to say 4.25 out of 5 noobs, and here's why. One, I'm sad because, again, I feel like we should have gotten at least one more item in this box. Two, Funko still needs to fix their shirt sizes because I am naturally a men's medium. This is a men's medium, yet the men's medium in Funko shirts is ginormous and does not fit me. Yet the smalls, which do fit me, are still a little bit snug. So I'm kind of in between a small and a medium, and I just think that they should learn to size their shirts like everybody else. The third thing is they didn't give us a card, and I don't think they have been giving us a card, but I know for the Marvel Collector Core box we get a card, and I think that... This box could definitely use a card because, like I said, with those Funko Pops, I wasn't quite sure what was so exclusive about the ones that I got. Was it that that whole set is exclusive? So if you got this box, you could have gotten any of those? Or did everyone get these same ones? I'm assuming everyone got these same ones because the theme was Bounty Hunter. So it wouldn't make sense if you got Han Solo. But what makes it so exclusive then? Because it didn't look exclusive, it just had a sticker on it. So I'm kind of interested in that, although I haven't seen, I don't think I've seen any of those from that set in the store, so I don't know. Maybe it's a new one, I'm not quite sure. But those are kind of the three gripes that I had about this month. It's a good box, you could give it a 4.5 if you wanted, but I'm gonna give it a 4.25 out of five noobs, also because I don't fully connect with it as much as I have in the past. So yeah, that's it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. What would you rate it, and are you guys okay? I'm sure you guys are going to say yes to this, but if I were to give Funko Pops that we got in boxes like this where they're exclusive to that box, do you think it's okay to price them at $15? I've definitely paid more than $15 for an exclusive pop. You know, usually I pay around maybe the $20 mark if it's something I really, really want and it's hard to find. But I don't know. It's up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. You would think that by now I would have that spiel down, but I clearly don't. Anyways, have a great night, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!